Hi, it's Wendy Hernandez, attorney and creator of Command the Courtroom. As you go through your family law case, do not forget to tap into your inner creativity. I believe that all of us are artists, whether you are an artist who actually draws pictures or not, or you're an artist who's a mechanic that works on cars, or you're an artist who likes to help your child color, or you're an artist who likes to cook in the kitchen. We're all artists. We're born that way. And because we're artists, we have this creativity, but we can choose to tap into it or not. And there are a lot of chances, opportunities in your family law case to tap into creativity. In one of my other videos, I talked about tapping into your creativity to come up with a plan that's best for your child. But today I want to talk about tapping into creativity when you experience these obstacles in your case. And this is the example I want to give. And I talked about in a couple of other my videos about a recent case um, where my client's um, child was missing for a period of three weeks. And we went through all kinds of, um, we jumped through all kinds of hoops to try to get the child and get the judge to order the mom to remand the child to my client's custody. There were a lot of setbacks along the way. My client thankfully didn't give up and he didn't give up on me and I didn't give up either. Um, but one of the obstacles that we encountered was after the judge had finally signed the order that we wanted, and it took a while to get this order, um, we needed to get certified copies before law enforcement would actually execute the order, meaning we needed to get a copy from the court, the clerk of the court that said the copy was a true and correct copy of the original that the judge had signed. So um, there was some sort of misunderstanding or miscommunication and the judge's clerk did not get us the certified copies as we had expected. And so what ended up happening is she sent these copies down to get filed and docketed in the main system. And the orders got lost in the massive orders that are coming into that main office. And they couldn't be found. And this was an order that needed to be acted upon immediately because we had private investigators involved. Um, and we thought we had located the child and the mother was a flight risk and there were a lot of time sensitive things going on. We needed the order. We had our runner go down to the court and beg the clerk of the court to ha allow him to look with her through piles of orders, trying to find the order we needed. And it felt like we kept running into brick walls everywhere. And I'm so fortunate because I have a brilliant paralegal and she came up with the idea that maybe we should ask the judge to sign a duplicate order. Um, since the one order couldn't be located, let's ask the judge on an emergency basis to basically just sign an original of the thing that she had signed the day before. And this kind of seems like common sense. It never occurred to me, um, and it didn't occur to my paralegal for about a day after we were trying, you know, before we were, or as we were trying to look for this order, but she figured it out. And it took some time because we did have to file another emergency motion with and submit with emergency orders and file them. And we, you know, we had to do some things. It required a little bit of work. And it took some time for the judge to look at it because she was on the bench in trial with other matters, but we got what we wanted. And thank God for my client because he and the PI went up and met with law enforcement and they found his child and he has his child now. But had it not been for that, we may have been waiting for days or, or a week, up to a week, for this order to be found. At this point, the order has not been found. I have no idea what happened to it. But I'm so grateful to my paralegal because she calmed herself down enough to think about different alternatives. And she thought outside the box. She got creative. And you can do the same when um, the answers that you've been coming up with aren't working in your case, try to think about it a different way. I've heard a saying and, um, you know, I've heard, it's been attributed to Einstein. I don't know if he actually said it or not, but the saying is something to the effect that um, you can't solve a problem with the same mind that created, created the problem. So in other words, you have to get to a different way of thinking to solve whatever issues you're having. So I hope that little tidbit helps as you go through your family law case. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the Command the Courtroom YouTube channel. Like us on Facebook. Go to commandthecourtroom.com to check out the stuff we have on the website there. 
keep on trucking. And until next week, remember to command the courtroom. <laughs>